This week, we have seen restrictions tightened and extended in many countries across the whole of Europe. The UK government has announced a strengthened tier regime, which comes into force in England from Wednesday of next week. Today, Northern Ireland begins a new two-week lockdown period, and Scotland has this week extended the highest level restrictions there. We, too, now here in Wales, need to use the coming weeks to reduce the spread of the virus and to create more headroom for the Christmas period. That doesn't mean a return to firebreak arrangements, but the Cabinet has agreed to take further specific and targeted action to reinforce the current national measures we have in place. We will focus on those places where we meet and where coronavirus thrives, drawing on the recent evidence from SAGE about those interventions that have the greatest impact on the virus. Any additional actions we take will build on that SAGE advice, but will be designed to meet the unique circumstances we face here in our country. Cinemas, bowling alleys and other indoor entertainment venues will now close. There will be new restrictions in the hospitality industry, which will come into effect on Friday of next week. Now, I know just how hard the sector has worked to put measures in place to protect the public. And I know that this will be a worrying time for all those working in the industry. That is why over this weekend we will be working with partners to finalise the details of the new arrangements and to put in place a further major package of financial support to respond to the challenges and changes faced in that industry. And I will be here again on Monday to give further details of that whole package. Just to be clear that non-essential retail, hairdressers, gyms, leisure centres and so on will continue to operate as now. The new arrangements will apply to the whole of Wales. That is necessary because we need a further national effort to bring down the rates in those parts of the country where they are high and to protect those areas from getting any worse where we have sustained the advantages of the firebreak for longer. A national approach can continue to protect us all. None of us want to see further restrictions in our daily lives or in our economy.